Hello everyone, this is my video response to Sybil's 51st challenge giveaway. Um, Sybil asked us to get in front of our camera and uh, share five random facts about ourselves and one crafty things about ourselves. Um, I was giving this a little thought that if I should do it or not, but after seeing so many wonderful ladies here on YouTube, um, give this a try and did the video respond to Sybil, I decided to do one too because I was like, you know what, I have a lot to share with you guys. So I guess I will do this challenge for Sybil. So I wrote all my thoughts on this messy piece of paper. Okay, so five random facts first. Mm, the first one is I want to tell you guys that I was born in another country. I'm not born in the United States in a fancy hospital or whatsoever. I was born in Thailand and my parents were uh, refugees from Vietnam War and we were put in relocation camps in Thailand so my mom actually gave birth to me in a tiny hut. Um, I thought that was pretty amazing that my mom could do that. I mean, my mom gave birth to um, my brother and me my two sister and one of my brothers, five of us in that tiny hut. <laughs> so, yeah, so I thought that was interesting to share with you guys. And then number two, um, I'm a college dropout, you guys. I used to go to college, but then I have to stop going because I was pregnant and I have a baby. So I have to stay home and watch my baby. So ever since then, I became a stay-at-home mother and recently found passion for scrapbooking since I stay home mother and I really don't have anything to do. So scrapbooking, uh, something's r really um, good for me to keep me busy and keep my day going. Yeah, so that's number two. And number three is um, my baby, my baby right here. Her name is chrysanthemum. It's named after that flower, chrysanthemum. Um, I love that flower. That flower is so gorgeous and lovely. So I was like, when I have my first baby, I'm going to name her chrysanthemum. I know my husband was uh, making fun of me. He didn't like the name, but he was like, oh, it's too long. How is your baby going to remember how to spell? Like, he couldn't even spell my baby name, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't want to name her Chrysanthemum. I was like, no, I want the name. I've been planning to give her that name ever since she wasn't born. <laughs> so I was pushing for it. And so we decided to uh, give her that name Chrysanthemum. Actually, we spell it differently from the flower because um, I pronounced it wrong, you guys. I'm not really good at pronouncing some big words like that so when I first um, I thought it was pronounced chrysanthemum but my husband and all his co-workers said that it was pronounced chrysanthemum not chrysanthemum so I keep calling her chrysanthemum so I guess my husband was like okay fine let's just go with chrysanthemum since um, I mispronounced it so we just decided to change it like the last uh, three three letter, like the third letter to the last, we change it to the N instead of an M. So it's actually chrysanthemum, not chrysanthemum. But it's still the chrysanthemum flower, so yeah. <laughs> and then number four, um, it's something that happened to me last year, right after New Year. It was on January 2nd. When I was six months pregnant with um, chrysanthemum, I got into a car accident. It was, um, it wasn't, well, I think it's kind of bad because I totaled the whole car, but then um, I wasn't injured. Me and my baby was still okay, so that was a really bad time for me. And then number five, this is like a big story that was going on the news last year. Um, I was living in Modesto, and now I'm currently residing in Sacramento. When I was in Modesto, um, we used to live in an apartment. It was a fourplex apartment, and in that apartment, there was a shooting going on. So it was all over the news that day. I think it was two weeks after I gave birth to my baby. So it was in April. Like, I gave birth to my baby on March 22nd. So that thing happened somewhere in April. I think it was two, 
two weeks into April of last year. So what happened was that there was a man that they tried to evict him out. Um, I don't know why they didn't say why, but they were trying to evict him out. And the manager asked the sheriff and the locksmith to come and tell the guy to get out the house. But I guess the guy ended up shooting them both. And so I heard the first gunshot at 10.45. I was still sleeping, you guys, because I'm breastfeeding my baby at night. And I have to wake up a couple times. So I was pretty tired. And I, so I have to sleep in through the day. So at 10.45, I was still sleeping, and I heard some gunshot, but I didn't really bother to look because I was way too tired. So I didn't wake up to check what what was it. And then at 11 o'clock, um, there was more gunshots. So I was like, now this time, I really have to wake up. I have to go and check what is going on outside, you know. So I woke up, and I look, and holy moly, like there was just like a bunch of Policeman and SWAT team member, like they were wearing all these vests and all these uh, uniform, and then carrying guns, and they were running, just running back and forth, running back and forth, in front of my uh, apartment. So my apartment's on this side, and then there's an apartment across from me, and the street is in the middle, and then the apartment on the right hand side of the apartment across from me um, is the house that the police are trying to get into. So I hope you guys understand that. So they're trying to get to that apartment, so I don't really see what's going on in front of that apartment because my house is not directly across from that apartment. My house is across from the apartment um, that is the police are not trying to get into, so the police are trying to get to the apartment next to the apartment across from me. So, so then, um, yeah, I was just watching them running back and forth, and then all of a sudden they were dragging two dead bodies. I think it was a locksmith and the sheriff, so they were dragging them, like, they were just uh, dragging them down to the apartment across from me, and then uh, I heard an ambulance came, and then they just uh, dragged those two people and put them in the ambulance, and the ambulance drove away. And after that, I was like, okay, that's too much. I got to call my husband. So I called my husband, and my husband did not answer. I think he was working that day, so he didn't answer. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just go back do my business. Um, and I just won't think about it. And I don't think there's nothing that's going to happen. So I think the police will take care of all of it, and then soon it will be gone. So I was just going, uh, doing my daily stuff. So I just got up and washed my face, and then just went back to... I didn't go back to sleep, but I just went back to the bed because my baby was still sleeping. So then I was just watching YouTube on my iPhone, and then all of a sudden, a policeman came knocking the door, and the policeman was, like, rushing me. He just said, okay, you need to get out the house. How many people in your house get them all out right now because there's a shooting going on? So I was like, okay, there's just my baby. So he's like, okay, go get your baby. So I went upstairs to grab my baby, but then I didn't know how cold it was outside because that day it was breezy and it was cloudy. It, it seems like it was going to rain. And then when he when I got outside, I was like, oh no, it's kind of cold. I need to go back to get a jacket. So he was like, okay, go grab a jacket. So I went back inside, so I grabbed a jacket and a blanket for my baby. And then I came back out, and I totally forgot about the keys. So I was like, oh, what about my door? I need to lock my door. He was like, no, it's fine. You don't need to lock your door because um, we need to rush you out right now. So he said that they're going to lock down the whole apartment complex so nobody will get to my house. So I was like, okay, so I didn't lock the door, so he just rushed me all the way to the front. Like, there's a big street in front of um, the apartment, so the apartment only had one way in. So they um, they asked all the people to move to the front, and then we were standing there, and then the news, like, was all over there, and then I was, yeah, I was kind of scared. I didn't know what to do. That We were just standing there watching, and then all of a sudden, the police told us to um, move away from that area. They told us to go farther away, and they told us to leave that area. So they were blocking everything. So we have to move like a couple yard down the street, and then um, yeah. So we moved down a couple yard down the street, and then t I have to walk. Like I guess my husband called me back after a while because um, he heard on the news, and his coworker told him. So he called me, and then I told him where I was, and then um, I. Since they blocked the whole road, I have to walk down to McDonald, like, just a couple yards away from um, the place I was at. So I walked down just a couple yards to McDonald's, and I stayed there until my husband came to get me. And then um, that night, 
um, they, the American, I think it's American Red Cross, they were, um, they, they came in and they opened up like a church that was near our house. So people that don't have uh, families in Modesto could go and stay at, so they have food and um, they provide like blankets and a place for people to sleep at the church. But my husband and myself, we didn't go there because we have a tiny baby and I have to wake up at night. So I was like, no, I don't want to go there. So we decided to go to his co-worker house and that, during the night we would watch TV and um, it was on the news and at 10 p.m. the whole uh, apartment, well not the whole apartment complex, but the man that they were trying to break into his house, uh, I guess it caught on fire and then the whole apartment was uh, engulfed in flame. And so they won't let us get back into the apartment until like the third day. So when we get back to the apartment, um, yeah, I guess the whole apartment was just ashes. They were just cleaning it. And then they reported that they found the body. So I guess they confirmed that he's dead. That's why they let us back into the apartment. So, so yeah, that was my whole crazy um, event that happened to me last year. It was like, I don't, I don't know what to explain to you guys. But it was just totally crazy. I mean, I actually witnessed something dramatic, like right in my apartment so yeah it was a bit scary but i wasn't thinking quite like you know i don't know how to explain to you guys you know i was just i wasn't just a weird so i wasn't prepared but you know next time if i see something like that i need to be more cautious and prepare myself and prep my stuff because when they come and grab you you just gotta go yeah because i wasn't thinking that they're gonna evacuate us out of that place so that's it. So one crafty thing about myself, um, I want to tell you guys I'm a crafty mess. I'm a, I mean, I'm a messy crafter. That's what I meant. I, when I craft, I am so messy. Um, after I finish a project, the whole place is just so messy. And also, like, I don't organize my room, so I don't know where my stuff are. I have to rummage through the whole thing and make a mess out of my whole craft room. So. Uh, a resolution for me this year is to be more organized because I think my husband would love uh, that I'm organized because he's just so overwhelmed by me like making a mess out of my room yeah so that's my new year resolution you guys just sharing that with you guys um that's why I have that challenge <laughs> if you guys haven't checked it out check it out so that's it you guys um sorry this video is kind of long because of that long long story that I have to share with you guys so, um, if you guys haven't checked out Sybil's um, YouTube channel, check her YouTube channel out. Um, she is an amazing lady and she has amazing projects and I just love watching her um, cars. She made really cute cars. So if you guys want to participate in this um, giveaway challenge, uh, check out her channel. So that's all you guys. Um, have a nice day and take care. Bye.